Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you again so much for joining me today on Tuesday, March the 22nd, 2022. Uh, this is called 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, thank you so much for joining me as we continue to go through this devotion together day by day. I'm going to continue to be obedient. I'm going to continue to get on here, record these messages anywhere from five to seven to eight minutes. It don't matter, guys. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know what we're going to read until I actually open up the book. Um, so just thank you so much for joining me as we grow together and uh, just learn who our daddy is. That way we know more who we are and what we're called to do, what we're called to be like, what we're capable of doing. Got that? All righty. God bless you guys. So today, for March the 22nd, our title, uh-oh, is titled True Confessions. Did I lose anybody yet? Anybody switching to another video by now? I hope not. This is something I think we all need to hear. Uh-oh. Um, true confessions and our study scriptures guys you know do me a favor um after you write these down research and i did it in one of my other videos what the definition of study is it's the it's the gaining of knowledge through reading of books and we're studying the scriptures we're studying the living breathing word of god out of the bible guys some of us may not have the actual you know bible book you know the hard bounders and the pages that you actually turn anymore i hope we still have one nearby but we got them on our phone we got access guys with technology that god's blessed us with today no excuse no no excuse to not get in the word every day i'm, I'm gonna call it what it is um so our study scriptures is psalm 51 verses 1 through 13 and our lead off verse is psalm 51 verse 5 and the word of god says surely i was sinful at birth Got that? Sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Guys, that man, we could go on for hours on this subject. I was just talking with my brother day to day about this, about how we're born in sin because of what our first parents, Adam and Eve, did. Guys, everybody, even that little cute baby in that, in that nursery, that body is full of sin already. It's biblical. It's in there. It's the word of God. It's not mine. You don't agree with me? Take that up with God, not me. Anyway, our... <laughs> I love you guys. I really do. Our author today is Joe Stow, and he goes on to write. Okay. I love coconut. <laughs> I do too, Joe. Um, I always have. So, after an exhausting day in second grade, I found a bag of shredded coconut in the cupboard and devoured the whole, devoured the whole thing. I've probably done something similar to that from the second grade up till about now. Anyway, um... When my mother went into the kitchen later to bake, <laughs> you guessed it, a coconut cake, I heard, who ate the coconut? I, thought, I don't know if this is about me and my mother or not. Anyway, I knew I was in trouble, but my escape plan was simple. A quick, easy lie. Not me. Um, probably only two people to live there. Uh, my cover-up plan was doomed to failure, and later that evening, I finally confessed. Praise God. No one had to teach me to lie. As the psalmist David admits, I was sinful from the time my mother conceived me. That was our lead off verse, guys. But in his sin, David knew where to go. To the God of abundant mercy who will cleanse us from our sin. Still today, he is waiting for us to confess our faults and embrace the forgiveness and cleansing that he readily offers. And I'm going to add what's already been paid for, guys. Remember, a refreshing plunge into God's mercy awaits you on the other side of confessed sin. How can we touch on this one in just a few short moments and give God justice and glory? We really can't. But this is, I mean, guys, can you picture yourself what this author is saying? I did it. I'm 51 years old, and I used to do this up until about a year ago. You know, I'd get up in the middle of the night. This is back when I still drank. I'd get them drunken munchies in the middle of the night. I'd go raid the cupboards. I'd eat mom's peanut butter chips for cookies. I would eat a tub of cake icing. You get that sweet tooth. You eat it. You, you shove it down in the bottom of the trash can. You put some more trash on top of it so nobody finds it. It wasn't me, mom. I know it's just you and I that live here. It had to be the dog. It had to be the dog get up in the middle of the night and do that. Guys, what we do it all the time, but that's not who you are. It's these bodies. These bodies are full of the sin nature. When you know that you're a spirit being, your spirit being is flawless. It is not sinful. But God tells you to confess your sins. Confess your sins to one another. Pray for one another. You know, if you confess your sins and forgive one another, you can be healed. Um, and, you know, research this on yourself. This is a topic we've been talking about. I cannot find 
where God asks, where we're told in the Bible to ask God for forgiveness. We say it all the time, God, please forgive me. God, please forgive me. Um, you got the Lord's Prayer, you know, but the Lord's Prayer, that title was man-made. That was not given by the breath of God. That was man-made. You, people will disagree with me. That's fine. I'm not going to argue with it. I'm just going by what God's put on my heart. Jesus said to pray like this. He didn't say, hey, this is going to be the call of the Lord's Prayer from here on out. He didn't. That's not in there. But um, that's the only place I can find where it says, and forgive us our trespasses as we're praying to God. Nowhere else can I find where it says you need to ask God for forgiveness because that was done. It was paid in full on the cross. What Jesus Christ did, the shedding of his blood, the remission of sins, were covered for eternity, guys. Just confess it and believe it. Yeah, we need to confess every day. I do every morning. I was like, God, you know, this is what I did. You know what? I can't hide nothing from you. Can't hide a, a hidden, hidden icing can from my own mother. How am I going to hide something from the God that created me? So, guys, when you keep something inside that you know don't belong there, all it does is it rots and it festers and it makes you miserable. Confess it. Get it out. If you did it, you know, if you did it, you need to pay the consequences, whatever it may be. But I'm trusting you. If you confess to God and it's a sin like that, he's not going to punish you, guys. Jesus Christ already took our punishment. So, guys, this is a good one. Um, ask yourself if there's something that you're still going to bed at night hoping nobody ever finds out. Because, man, it's just going to eat you up. It's going to eat you up. You're not going to sleep good. It's going to continue to weigh on you. Satan loves that. Satan loves unconfessed sin. Get it out. Get rid of it. Move on. Cut that chain off that boulder and move forward, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's a good one today. So, until tomorrow on Wednesday the 23rd, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. To God be the glory. Love you guys. Goodbye.